What's up YouTube, Thrift Hunter here with this week's garage sale finds. I picked up these two necklaces, um, just stone beads. Anytime I see the natural stone bead stuff anymore, I always pick it up because uh, you just don't see it as often. They get maybe 25, 30 bucks for these at the flea markets, uh, depending on where you are. So if you get these nice colorful stone bead necklaces for a few dollars like I did, uh, definitely a good thing to look out for. Nice green. I don't know what kind of stones these are off the top of my head. Uh, but a really nice pink one. I mean, I always tell you guys, if you see color, just like bright colors, and, you know, it's big and chunky and it's nice and it's made out of stone, you can kind of start putting two and two together and figuring out that those are the pieces that you want to look at because you want to look for stuff that's higher quality and stuff that you don't see as often. So I got this uh, bead necklace. It's just kind of a boho look. It's from Guatemala. It's got the antique real coins on here. Uh, they're not silver, but a pretty nice necklace. Uh, I didn't pay a lot for it, so it's nice and big. Uh, something that I could definitely put in a lot. So I got this nice uh, big cloisonne and coral necklace. Uh, I don't see the uh, cloisonne necklaces anymore. I mean, I used to see it all the time, but now it's getting a little bit harder to find. Uh, people are just asking more. They're not like worth a ton, but uh, some of the blue and some of the older stuff is uh, getting really popular. So this is a nice piece. Um, it's got a tassel and it's got blue beads. It's a really big necklace. Uh, this was like five dollars. Uh, definitely a good one to look out for. The cloisonne beads. So I got some sterling silver earrings. They were just nicer quality. Uh, I paid about four dollars a piece. So uh, I think I just picked out the ones that I liked and that I think will sell better. So here's a pair of stamped uh, camels, kind of different. thought this pair was pretty nice. It's uh, silver beads and amethyst bead in the middle uh, on a chain. It's, it just kind of looks a little different. So those are nice. They're pretty heavy. So they're good quality. I thought these were nice. I know like the Greek key design and this kind of stamped uh, shell design is pretty popular. So I picked these uh, sterling earrings up. They seem pretty old. They got a nice weight to them, so I got those. These ones are pretty interesting. Uh, they're stamped. They're silver. They look maybe Native American, maybe uh, Egyptian or something. It's got some interesting hallmarks on the back. It's going to be kind of hard for you to see. But I'll look those up. See if it's anything really special, but it's a nice pair of earrings. And I got this pair of dangle earrings. It's got a nice shape to them, a nice cones. These are solid silver. Whole thing's pretty heavy. Real nice. So one of the pair I found, and I think these are the best, is this really nice pair of, uh, looks like Native American uh, sterling silver earrings. It's got the handmade silver ball. It's got this flower design on the end. It's got a stamped barrel. These are really popular because a lot of people have those squash blossoms and they want a matching pair of earrings to go with those and these are a pair that would go with those pretty well. So I also got this small uh, 14 karat gold and pearl with a little tiny diamond on top. Uh, this necklace for a few dollars. Uh, I got this last week and I also got about oh about 10 silver spoons last week um, but those are already sold on eBay and those have already been shipped out. And the best find today was this nice pair of Swarovski candlestick holders. Uh, this is the taller uh, design. These are discontinued. So I think I'll have no problem selling these. I got these for $2. They look like they're in really good shape. Uh, Swarovski stuff's always really nice to find because it's got a nice collector base and people buy them for interior designers and stuff. So 
Uh, there, there aren't many listings on eBay when you look because all that stuff gets bought. So I'll have no problem with these. All right, well, that's all this week. Thanks for watching.